Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the show, guys. BSG Customs, this is Nelson. I want to show you guys how I mix my craft acrylics. I mentioned this in the last video that I, I may show a tutorial. So this is how I mix them. Um, and if you guys want to know how to um, make your, your uh, thinner, go to Gil over at Red Dragon's Model Works. He does a great tutorial. He shows you uh, step by step. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to show you how to mix my, my paints with the um, Jesus juice that he calls it. And all it is, guys, is um, wind, um, windshield washer, distilled water, okay, iso, isopropyl 91% uh, alcohol, and glycerin. Okay, guys? And what I do is I, I've got a six ounce bottle here. I fill the uh, distilled water or windshield washer, whichever one you want to fill up first. I do it half and half. So I go to the three ounce mark. I pour in my windshield washer and then I pour in my, my distilled water up to the six ounce mark. And the rest of that will get um, the alcohol. Okay, all the way up to probably the bottom of the, um, of the nozzle or the, or the opening of the bottle. And then I put about uh, 10 or so drops, probably about 10, 12, 15 drops of the glycerin. And what this glycerin does is it helps your, your needle from getting dry. Um, it, really, um, it really breaks down the paint and it just st stops it from sticking to your needle or getting your needle dry. So that, that's re really what it does. It works really well. I really like it. So um, I, I, I've been using that as well. I mean, Gil shows you to put that in, he says it's not necessary. I mean, if you don't have it, don't worry about it. It still works. I just bought this probably about, a, I would say a month ago. So I've been using that uh, since I bought it. But uh, I've been using this uh, mix from Gill for quite over a year now without the glycerin. Works fine, but I find that the glycerin does help uh, prevent um, uh, drying up the needle. So. Uh, let's get started guys. I'm just going to do this really quick before my time is out on the camera here. So I'm going to be using this um, honey brown for the interior. Okay, Got yourself, get yourself a glass bottle. And I like to do it half and half, 50-50. I, I tend to pour, pour more of the uh, thinner in, so I would say maybe 40-60. That's just me, my, uh, you know, what I do. I like it a little bit thinner. So guys, we'll just um, pour a good axis in there because I do like to have a little extra just in case I do have to do some touch-ups. That's probably more than what I need, but you never know. We'll add the uh, thinner. And like I said, 50-50. I just eye it. There's no, no point measuring. And then I get myself mixing stick and we will mix this together and I really like to mix this very well guys just because it's acrylic and it's you know thick right off the right out of the bottle but I really like to you have to really mix it really well uh, sorry if my hands are in the way guys but let me see does that help uh, kind of and so just you know mix it really well Get it to the consistency of uh, milk, you know, like everyone usually uh, says out there for uh, thinning paints. I like it a little bit thinner, but uh, it's it's just your preference, guys. How you uh, it, and also depends on the uh, the airbrush as well. So uh, just thin it to your liking, guys, and take it to the airbrush, and um, you've got yourself some nice paint and like I said I usually use my craft paints for my interiors um, some of my engine parts I mean it really sprays out really nice I used it on the body on this 36 Ford so um, I mean really you wouldn't be able to tell if it was acrylic or not or crafts or not so so I'm gonna thin that down uh, quite a bit more just gonna get a cloth here. It's a little bit uh, thick for me, and uh, back to the Jesus juice, as we uh, call it. And again, just keep mixing until you get a nice consistency. 
that you're happy with. And usually I just tap it along the side of the uh, glass bottle and to see how fast it runs down. It's still a little thick. All right, and so that's how I do it, guys. That's pretty much it. I'm going to uh, stop the camera here. I'm going to uh, spray the uh, interior, guys. And then, um, you know, I'll show you guys um, what the results are with this craft paint. Okay, so I'll stop it there, guys. And I'll be right back with the um, interior painted. So um, I'll be back in a sec, guys. Hey, guys, welcome back. All right, so we uh, finished painting the interior. It took about 15 minutes, guys. Not very long at all. I hit it up with a, a blow dryer just so I can get it here on camera so it wasn't uh, wet or sticky or anything. So it, it's dry to the touch. And um, here's the results, guys. Some really nice, clean craft paint. Um, it covers very well. You know, I, I shot a few coats there. It dries pretty quick. But like I said, uh, you know, I hit it up with a blow dryer and you're good. I am going to do a lot of detailing on the doors. Um, the door panels, I am going to flock this, but, um, that's the results that you get out of craft paint using this, um, this method with the thinning. I mean, you can just use, um, regular windshield washer guys. It's, it's not going to harm it. It's going to give you some great results as well, but I do like this method. It works for me. And, um, those of you guys that are just getting into the hobby that are new, Go on and try your. Go out and get yourself some craft paint and try it. Um, you know, do your research if you want, but I mean, try it. it. It's really good. It's really cheap. You know, and and it goes a long way. These two ounce bottles. I mean, some some of this stuff goes for ninety nine cents when they're on sale. Um, you know, some of them you pay about I'd say a dollar fifty the most. Uh, maybe two a dollar ninety nine, but you know, it beats paying. Um, you know, four ninety nine or six ninety nine for almost um, a jar this big, right? Um, you know, like I said, it goes a long way. I, it's actually smaller than that. Here's one here. You know, a jar that big. It is a um, half ounce, and this here is what five ninety nine, six bucks. I mean, this is enamel, but still. Uh, Tamiya is the same way. Now, I'm not knocking them down at all. I, I carry Tamiya paints. I carry Model Master paints. I use those paints for different uh, types of builds. But for my interiors, my chassis, some of my engine work, I go with the craft paints. If I have it, I'll, uh, I'll roll with it and uh, see how what the outcome is. But again, guys, I do clear coat them. I do put a coat on them, either with Future or some dull coat, depending on the kind of finish I want to get. And it just seals it in, you know. I also do recommend you priming your parts before you start with the craft paints. You know, practice on spoons, guys. Um, you get some. You, you'd be surprised on the results you get with this. So, um, there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it helps um, some of you guys out there that are just new to the community, uh, getting started. You know, um, craft paint does work. It's great for some of the uh, the parts that you need for. So. Uh, that's all I got, guys. I really appreciate you guys watching. And um, till uh, next time, guys, I'm uh, hoping to have an update shortly. Um, not sure if it's going to be finished, but, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, enjoy your week, and uh, happy building, guys. Take it easy, be safe, um, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye.